Hello everyone, I'm Jinison, and I have an important message for you today. During this time of pandemic, <coughs> many are suffering. <coughs> Some have lost jobs, others are going hungry, many people are stressed, and many are wondering what is going to happen next. I want to tell you today... <coughs> You don't need to be stressed because the Bible says God can give us perfect peace if we keep our mind on Him. Isaiah 26 verse 3 We don't need to be stressed out because this just tells us that Jesus is coming very soon and He is going to take us home to heaven where there will be no more pain, no more hunger, no more tears, no more stress, no more pandemic. We'll all be happy and healthy there. God will change us and God will create a new world. Do you believe it? You have to have faith to see it. Faith in God's Bible. That's where it tells us all this good news. So don't let this pandemic make you forget about Jesus and lose sight of Him. Instead, let it bring you closer to Him. Read your Bible more. Pray more. We can have confidence in the Bible, cling to God's promises. The Bible says in Psalms 91 verses 6 and 7 that when the pestilence come <coughs> and a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand shall fall at thy right hand, it won't come near you. Isn't God promises sweet? That's a promise for our time. And if God promises it, I have faith that he will do it. He never breaks his promises because he is God and God never let us down. <coughs> so today I want to remind you <coughs> that Jesus is coming very, very soon. Yes, very soon. And we must be ready, ready to meet him, ready at his second coming, ready today. But how? The Bible says in Matthew twenty four forty two. Therefore, keep watch, because we don't know on what day your Lord will come. We must watch. Watch for the signs, like this pestilence. Yes, this pandemic. He's a sign. Yes, a sign to get ready. <coughs> so if you have been watching, then you realize that Jesus is telling us to get ready. Because he is coming soon, then we must build our faith. Because the Bible says that faith is the victory. First John 5, 4. And we are saved by grace. True faith. A vision to it. How do we build our faith? We must spend time in the Bible. Romans ten seventeen. Since we have been locked down, we've been staying home a lot. But because of that, I read my Bible more. One chapter a day keeps the devil away. Why don't you read with me today? Let's build our faith. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing by word of God. Let's do it every day so we can be ready for Jesus today. And we don't need to be afraid. This is the peace that we can have that rides above the storm. God bless you. Thank you.